I wanted to do about Safar Dim is because I have now in recent years had a lot more experience about the Sephardim custom through my son-in-law. So my daughter married um, the son of a Sephardim rabbi who came from Iran and they have lots of traditions and it's been an eye-opener and in really an interesting eye-opener on different customs, different way of life and how one can share other people's traditions, experiences and make it a more colourful, interesting, more fulfilled uh, lifestyle about how people left so much in a country they felt so connected with and had to make new avenues for themselves in a country that they found quite difficult. I was born in Fez, Morocco. On the river Tigris. I had a beautiful life in Libya. The year I was born was still under the rule of Turkey. I'm a Jew from Morocco for 600 years. Savardi so Voices helped me very much in my research because it helped me to understand people's personal experiences and their stories from these towns. My work is slightly taking it from a different angle, so I'm dealing more with the buildings and the locations that were left, not the human stories, but the devastation. So it's the loss of the synagogues, the loss of their homes, the loss of their places where they were. I don't want my ancestors' achievements to end in my lifetime. I don't want me to be the last link in the chain. Uh, if a building is demolished, then the spirit can still continue. So it's about spiritual survival over the physical destruction. So this is the Yemen, and what was interesting about the Yemen, the capital of Yemen, is that the town itself was built out of the mountains in the desert, the desert mountains. And they were beautifully decorated with a lot of detail. But you couldn't really tell which was a synagogue because it, again, it was concealed between high walls, the home. It shows how the Jewish community was very much part of the wider community. It's a place in Afghanistan that's now been converted into a mosque. I've done this one in gold leaf and in black, black and gold leaf, but I'm also doing another edition of this one, and it's going to be in different shades of colour, of different yellows and golds and reds. So I really want to sort of bring it up so it really sort of glows as a, a picture from the Middle East. Mm -hmm. 